everybody and welcome to an extremely, extremely um, special preview of the lovely little kit that's coming from Transformazing Toys, the PB01, the Pandora's box. Now this little beauty arrives on my doorstep. I had no idea it was coming, but that is the benefit of broadcasting my address all over the interweb. As you can see, it's packed full of goodies. Um, this is only the grey mould um, prototype version, so this is just a prototype, but my goodness, it's robust. Um, if you watch my reviews, you know that I am not the uh, lightest of fingers, and um, yeah, I normally break stuff, and this thing has taken a pounding. I've had it for about three or four days now, and I've transformed it left, right, and centre. It is extremely well made and very, very heavy. Um, let's just see some of these features. Everything pegs underneath the trailer, so everything I've got here has come from the trailer. Let's uh, fold, fold this over and peg this together. Unfold this hinge here. Fold this down. That kind of stands down. So this is a kind of like a Gundamish shield, isn't it? I like that. Uh, let's pop the peg up. Ah, see, yep. Does it go? All right. There we go. Yep. And these peg together like so, and you've got some sort of Gundam shield. Now in the back of the trailer, no space is wasted. You've got both the weapon storage. Let's uh, have a look at the weapons. You've got this pole between the legs. Yes, he has a pole between his legs. Um, now, you can either add your Magnus handle on there, and you can kind of have it as a lance, I suppose. Kind of a lance rifle. Um, I don't know, I think I'm clutching at straws with that. Um, Basically, fold the uh, section in half, and if you go to uh, that section you pulled out, you can join the two guns together and clip that in. Uh, there's a spare um, ammo cartridge in the legs. Plug that onto there, and the gun goes on here like this, and that pegs in like that. And uh, if you've seen the pictures, we all know we've got a big, big Magnus, so what does big Magnus need? A big rifle. Of of course he does. Um, the legs, now these are fun. Um, spin this piece around like this. Spin the foot section around like so. And am I gonna get it right first time? Does that, it goes in this way like so. Uh, I think I've got this the wrong way around. Yeah, I've got this the wrong way around. Okay, let me just spin the wheels. Spin them around this way like that and pop that in there, and that closes up, and everything locks into place. Let's just fold this foot section down, like so, and isn't that clever? I like that. It absolutely hides the entire wheel section. What a fabulous little idea. And uh, I'll get on the articulation later, but this is packed full of it. Well done, well done, guys. Um, the trailer. Um, you can fold out these cannons like so and they click into place you can then either have them out or you can push them back in so he's got like these turrets at the front he's got these petrol pump things at the sides uh, kind of like the G1 repair bays ish aren't they very well inspired by those um, I'll come back to the trailer uh, when we have a look at the whole lot together um, I spin my torso round for my magnets because I find you've got more strength in a torso when it's facing about turn. You want to clip the legs into the holes like so, and that then just slides into place. There we go, and yes, that's not going anywhere. There's so much weight to this. Um, check out the head there, that's all tucked away. The body section, which again is all stored underneath the trailer, clips on and there's a peg on the inside here and there's a peg on the top that slides into there and when you slide it underneath push that in and that'll clip in absolutely securely that is not going anywhere this comes out of the top of the trailer you can spin that round flip it here this is on a sliding pin i think yep then that pegs into there like so open these up and these tabs on the back here, that will slide onto Magnus's waist and uh, lock into place. So let's um, grab Magnus, uh, 
try and do this without knocking over the camera. And just put this, need to slide that in like so. That pegs into the back and then slides and grips very firmly onto it like so. There we are, Magnus's crotch. Voila! Um, this section also comes off the trailer. You peg that up under here. Don't knock over the camera. Spin these round, then you can pull this section down. And basically, these weren't even needed, but it's just such a nice little touch to armour up Magnus's windows. Don't forget, these will all be painted. And they clip very firmly behind his smokestacks there. Again, a nice little touch. Um, you've got so much articulation on the uh, elbows there. You've got double hinge. Um, you've got a vast range of motion. The back section plugs into place now. Um, the blue bits do plug in either side, or you, you can have the bumpers up like so, but I know people have been complaining about that. And I think the official um, transformation for these is to have them uh, kind of folded and clipped across his bottom like so. Um, God. See, that is a good back to a robot. A good back to a robot can make a robot. People are talking about the fists. Um, don't forget this will be coloured. Um, people are saying cap it. Possibly, but isn't it handy to have five mil pegs on a rotation? Because he can have cannons firing over his shoulder. That is just my opinion. As far as the sculpt goes, it's very well done. Um, the guy who designed this, he must have been inspired by Dreamwave. This has just got such a Dreamwave vibe to it, and I am loving Dreamwave at the moment, hence my Springer review from The Wreckers. All in all, to look at, this is an absolutely beautiful piece with a lot of possibilities. The fists themselves, they don't um, move, but there are three different versions, a closed fist, an open fist, and an open hand. Easy to change, ball joint, hand clips on like so. Again. Very uh, Gundam, in my opinion. Here we are taking a look at the complete base mode, and Magnus is kicking back whilst he's making Prime do all the work. As you can see, it clips in firmly to the back of Prime. It can still roll, and there is a lot going on here. The battle station seat at the top there um, in the cockpit is plenty big enough for your um, Legend class or possibly Scout class figures. And... Uh, yeah, there is a lot of heavy artillery. I cannot wait to see this guy painted up. It is going to look superb. And look at him. Look at him there, just waving his Xavier Cow Botcon sword about. Ha, huh, isn't he nice? Um, it's a good trailer mode. Um, people have said, how does this compare to the Battle Tanker? And I don't have Battle Tanker. But does it have an official base mode? No, it didn't, did it? This does. And, of course, it can combine into just a standard trailer, minus all of his limbs and accessories, which Prime can still easily carry. Here's Prime holding that shielded weapon that I discussed earlier. Now, this mould is also available in the Optimus Prime mould. It's slightly different, you haven't got the antennae, it's got the mask on the face. Um, again, very IDW, isn't it? Uh, you've got the smokestack cannons at the side on the arms of this, and he does look bad, doesn't he? He looks proper. proper. Oh, Megatron wouldn't mess with him. He blatantly wouldn't mess with him. There we go. He's come packing a punch. Now, this is on my um, Takara one, and that just shows you that I am not bothered about any paint scale, um, any paint chipping at all. Although they have said they're going to supply new knee sections so you don't chip the paint on your figure and also new hips so you don't rely solely on the uh, hips of your Ultra Magnus or Prime, um, which is really good to hear. Uh, I'm going to have mine displayed as Magnus because I am a huge Magnus fan and here he is with the Wreckers and he looks the part. He can pack pretty much any weapon because the hands are 5 mil and... He is super posable. There are ball joints galore with ratchets, etc., etc. He looks the part. I mean, he can reach over and hold a huge shotgun. You know, who wouldn't want their Magnus to do that? 
I'm going to leave you guys with some pictures that I've recently posted on the web. I hope you've enjoyed this really early look at a very awesome prototype from the guys at Transamazing. Thanks for watching, take care and goodbye.